This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In the previous lesson, we did an opening transition by using an effect, if you recall. And we kind of went from black and white TV, 50s TV, you into know, full color. World, when we want to select something, we grab it. We... Now, we could add a blur onto that too. We could do a lot of things. Let's end it in a more traditional, conservative way with a fade out, but our own customized fade out and not a cross dissolve, which goes to black. So let's start by opening up a couple of things here. Let's open up the generators right there. And let's open up our inspector right here because we'll need that too. The only one of the generators, and we are in solid colors, that allows us to change the color to something we want to change it to is custom. So I want custom on the end of this thing. Drag it over here. Most transitions are only about something like two seconds. So let's go ahead and right click our mouse and change the duration right here. Or press Control D, that's the shortcut. It says 10 up here. Type on your keypad or your numbers across the top, 200. Zero, zero. Press return and let's scoot that over there. Okay, so we've got our two second transition or what will be a two second transition on the end. If we look at it now, obviously. Get out and see what Adobe Illustrator has to say about alignment. Yeah, we don't want that. We want it to slowly go away and we don't want black. So let's do a couple of things here. Go uh, a little bit to the left so we can see the video, but make sure that you have this selected down here. We're going to go into generator up here. There's the color. I want you to click this button. Don't click the down arrow. Click here. There's the colors. Click the magnifying glass right here. We're going to choose a color that comes from the image to help blend this thing together. There is a lot of green. So let's go ahead and come over in, say, around on this plant and click. And we've changed it to that color, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go into our timeline, and let's go right to the beginning right there. Now, what do we want this thing to do? We want it to go from nothing to 100% opacity. So we need to go up here and select video, and there's opacity. Opacity allows us to put a keyframe on. Let's start by taking the opacity down to zero, so it's gone. Add a keyframe. Now let's go to the end and snap right to the end right there. Add another keyframe up here and change the opacity back to 100%. That's it. Let's come down here, give it a shot. Block something here. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what Adobe Illustrator has to say about alignment and selection. That's not too bad. We could change the duration, make it shorter, make it longer, change the color. We can do anything we want to. Using these keyframes brings life to that timeline in effects, in distortions, in transitions, in cropping, anything you want to do. All you got to do is remember, you've got keyframes to do it. 